Hey everyone, Carla here bringing you the daily tidbit. Today I want to do my version of the Fitbit Flex review. Um, this is personally just what I've encountered um, along the about a month that I've been using it pretty regularly. So this is the Fitbit Flex and I have it in slate blue because I wear a lot of blue but what's pretty cool is you can get different bands to match your outfits if you're feeling green or purple or pink or whatever you choose. Um, I do have the small petite band and as you can see it just has these little clasps right here that snap together pretty well and um, it comes with all kinds of fun accessories that is it's a Bluetooth so it it communicates with an app and so um, what I wanted to show you first is just a basic breakdown on this um, it goes on I put it on my d um, non-dominant hand and I actually have marked that in the program itself so it knows that I'm using my non-dominant hand so it just clips on real quick I leave mine on a lot because um, it tracks my sleep as well so that's one of the reasons why I picked it as far as peer review because a lot of the health coaches that I work with also recommend this one and so tracking my sleep I was kind of curious about and I wanted to know what that was all about so it doesn't really feel any more different than um, those regular bands that you get at concerts and events and stuff so if you just double tap on it it'll show you how far into your day you are and I'm only basically two-fifths of the way you want there to be five lights is kind of like your your best. Um, today is just a lazy day for me and I haven't really gone anywhere, done anything. Um, usually my normal day is about four to six thousand steps, just my everyday normal life. But if I want to get to my ten thousand steps, I really have to push myself. I have to go shopping or park farther away or make an extra couple trips around the house, um, maybe go pick up the eggs from the chicken coop a couple more times and actually go for a walk so when you're going for a walk that seems to be when the when it works the best when it's tracking your steps the best also um, I'll just show you the sleep while I have it on if it was time to sleep you just tap it until it goes to that flashing mode and that means it's in sleep mode and it tracks your sleep it'll track when you're awake when you're restless how many times you were awake how many times you were restless you just have to remember um, sometimes I get really tired and I'm not really asleep but I'm on the couch and all of a sudden I wake up in the morning and oops I never put my Fitbit into sleep mode so that does wear the battery down a little faster I've noticed and of course it's not tracking your sleep so just to get it out of sleep mode you just double tap or tap tap until it comes on again and um, today I'm gonna have to go for a walk because I want to get my 10,000 steps in and I'm not anywhere close so um, some of the things I wanted to show you too so your Bluetooth tracker thing in here you just it just pulls right out and um, it comes with this charger and it just snaps in really convenient like that and it has the USB charger that you just plug in and my battery usually lasts about five days sometimes even a week depending on how active or not active I am and um, to put this back in it just you just there's a little arrow on the back and you just always hit it face first there and so that's back on and it's really convenient um, this is the USB that goes into my laptop and if I if anytime I get near my laptop it's going to sync to the app to tell me how many steps I've made um, that's not as important to me as far as what I really love about um, the Fitbit is how it tracks with my fitness pal so I scan or put what I'm eating into my fitness pal and then based on the steps that I've done it will adjust my calories that I need to eat for the day so that's just another layer of accountability that helps me stay on track and I'm gonna try to show you this um, so if I think it might be backwards because my camera is backwards but here's the app so it says today I have 2008 well 2016 steps that's probably because I'm talking with my hands a lot but I'll just show you so like if walk 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 and you can see it just checks it's pretty easy um, so obviously I have not done as much as I should um, right here is my sleep 
and uh, it'll show you how poor my sleep is lately. I attribute that to having allergies and allergy meds and um, my husband has been working crazy hours and we're none of us are getting good sleep lately. So um, another thing I love about it is um, is right here it says um, calories burned and right down here it says I only have 344 calories left for the day which you know I'm on a 1200 calorie plan because I'm short and it's very difficult to maintain my weight only eating 1200 calories a day which is what I'm supposed to be eating so um, it's very important for me to track my um, food in because it's really easy to get out of those 1200 calories for me and practice that portion control so that's what the Fitbit does for me I love it it helps keep me accountable plus I don't really think it looks that bad and um, I like it and then you can connect with friends as well online um, who are walking they're all walking more than I am um, so yeah I like it because it's Bluetooth um, it tracks my sleep and it syncs with my fitness pal really well and at any time I can just open up my app on my phone or my computer to see how many steps I've got exactly or you know just tap tap and I know that I've got a lot of walking to do left today so that's my review I love it I bought mine on eBay for about eighty dollars just happened to come in my color and um, the small petite band is what I have I've also seen them at Costco recently in the black for about ninety dollars so I think they're pretty cool it's not really a watch I know the force the Fitbit force um, had the clock on it but it was recalled so I think these are really hot right now and I'm thankful I have it and I waited a long time to buy it because I thought a hundred dollars was too much for just a little pedometer but for me it just really keeps me on track it keeps me accountable to myself and to my goals for walking those 10,000 steps so with that everyone I hope you're having a great day and that this has been helpful to you and if you get a Fitbit Flex, look me up. I think it's Live In Proof for you. L I V I N Proof P R O O F. The number four, the letter U. Pretty sure that's my name on the Fitbit. So um, let's walk 10,000 miles a day, everyone. Bye bye.